everyone and welcome back. We're back again about to watch more of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. We're on episode two. Storm here. Mom here. <laughs> Kimmy here. We love the Marvel Universe and love yes. watching Sam and Bucky. We know Bucky has a lot of PTSD and he has a lot of sarcasm. It's the way he's dealing with it. He's friends with Yuri, the old man, trying to make amends for what he did as best as he can. Yes, um, we were, now that makes sense. Uh, we were thinking we were that thinking, it was just a coincidence. Right. Yeah, and we knew that Bucky had the list. But I don't know why. I just thought that, like, it was just a coincidence for some reason that he befriended him before that. But it makes perfect sense that he didn't know that's what he was doing to make mm -hmm. himself, I guess, feel better. But not just to feel better, but, like, he did a lot of bad things. It was out of his control. I wanted to read some comments that you guys wrote on Patreon because I love what you guys have to say. We love Marvel. Mm -hmm. Again, yeah, repeat. Like we want to watch MCU, which we might do soon once we have time, just to really fill in the blanks because uh, we all saw it in one go on the channel. There's so much information, all these Easter eggs that it's easy to miss stuff. So just to read a few comments on our Patreon from last episode, we have Stephanie. You're always awesome too. And she wrote, Bucky did know that it was his son for Yuri. He has the old man's name on the list. Taking care of Yuri is his way of making amends for killing his son because he doesn't have the courage to tell him the truth yet. The shrine was what made him change his mind. If he wouldn't have seen it, he probably would have told him the truth. I feel so sorry for Bucky. His sarcasm is a facade to deal with his PTSD. And I've read in comments on YouTube that soldiers or people with PTSD in general have a problem with therapists writing something down during their conversation. So Bucky isn't just joking around when he makes the comments about her notebook. So that makes perfect sense too. So thank you for sharing that. Yes. I can't even imagine again with PTSD and I did not mm. know that was a thing about writing things down. I mean, I just assumed that, okay, writing anything down is a permanent thing and it's on record. So yes. that's all I thought about, yes. but that would make sense mm. that you get paranoid and- You do, and I especially with, yeah, and in Bucky's um, instance, part of his pardoning was to go to therapy and she has to report to the government or someone. So she, it, it is a big yeah. thing that he's like, if you write it down, they're going to know, you know? Yeah. That's right. And honestly, I mean, with his situation, he's very lucky that he can actually walk free. Yes. I mean, it was yes, out of his control, right. yeah. but he killed a lot of people. people yeah. So he is very lucky for that. And Extremely. I'm sure we're going to see a lot of dark places he goes to, like a lot of uh, mental issues he's going to have. I feel bad, but I feel like that is going to happen at some point. And we're talking more about Bucky right now, too, because we talked a lot about Sam last time. And I wanted to see more with Bucky. But Sam, really like him. He's almost like an opposite. Like he is really great with family, but he didn't go through what Bucky went That's through. Right. Um, and he's struggling right now. So we're seeing the superhero struggle too. Like they saved the world how many times in That's cities right. and whatever. Like yeah. so many things That's in right. the MCU, yeah. yet they have nothing to show for it. Yeah, yeah he can't even get a loan for his family yes, business. Yeah, yeah. Sarah. It's like yeah. you've lived I mean, in around for five years, there's no record. So <laughs> we're going to probably yeah. see a lot more with that as well, because mm -hmm. we've only seen so much with the blip. And actually now living it and being like, holy crap, like, what do you do in that instance, you know, because yeah. that's never happened before. So that's also interesting to see. And a few of you guys said that Captain America, Steve Rogers, might not be dead, that that was a memorial oh. that they had for him. But maybe because he's older, they're keeping it secret or something just because they don't want people to bother him. I don't know. I took it as, although it wasn't really a funeral, they were wearing black at one point. I kind of just thought that he did die because he was very old and fragile in Endgame. And mm -hmm. I thought because Steve Rogers didn't want to be in the picture anymore because they would still have to have you know, Chris Evans come in and play that role, killing him off or like having him peacefully rest in peace, you know, peacefully mm -hmm. pass that that was our way of just coping with it and moving on like a softer way instead of like yeah so i don't know so i still think he actually died but maybe he did maybe we will see chris evans as steve That's rogers right, yeah. at some point as an old man <laughs> drinking a beer with yuri yeah, drinking a beer with Yuri. That would be kind of cool to see that. So, again, guys, always tell us your opinions. I love what you guys have to say, especially when we're up to date it's with something because then I could actually interact yeah. and read that. But I'm like, ooh, oh what's God. going on? And there was something else. Oh, yes. And then with the new Captain America, one of you guys said, let's see, that was Stephanie again. The name of the new Captain America is John Walker, a.k.a. U.S. Agent, who was played by Wyatt Russell. 
Kurt Russell's son. So thank you for that awesome. information. That's so cool. Wow. Yeah, so we didn't really see his face much, you know, so he was just Captain America or yeah, US agent. Yeah. So, I mean, too soon. Um, no one can replace Steve Rogers. Maybe Sam, though, because that would be kind of fun to see that. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. But I think Even we should get into Falcon. this. Yeah. 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 Not, yeah. Not I love him as a Falcon, but I can see him taking Captain America's place. Like, I think he That's would be right, good yeah. at that if that came to be. Or maybe meshing the two. Falcon and I don't know how he would do that Fal- though. Captain Falcon. Captain Falcon, Captain maybe. Falcon. <laughs> I don't know. What has a Captain good American to Falcon? <laughs> so episode two, the Star Spangled Man. So that must be the new know. U.S. agent guy. <laughs> yes, that's right. Oh, and one of you also mentioned that agent they were fighting in the beginning was from one of the previous movies, which I did recognize him, but I couldn't remember exactly. I did where. too, and I always I say, oh, too. yeah. Yeah, so that's why I want to go back and we got to watch them because they're so yeah. fun. Yeah. They're so exciting. So anyways, shall we, ladies? Yes, yes. let's do it. Sorry, but no. <laughs> Access denied. <laughs> Boy, does he look like his father. Oh, my word. <laughs> Captain America. And that's why you failed drama class. <laughs> See, he's actually handsome, you know? You like, yeah, in the suit, he was kind of funny looking. <laughs> Time to go to work. Man, it's like, what an honor and what pressure. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's a lot of pressure. Like, immediately <laughs> rejudged. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> I love bands. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Got the groove on too. Good morning, America. <laughs> it's big high school. <laughs> and you tested off the charts in every measurable category: speed, endurance, wow. intelligence. Yeah, look, here's, uh, it's I'm, I'm not. <laughs> Did you know Steve Rogers? Well, I was two years out of West Point when Steve came back on the scene. I followed his career very closely. Yeah, he doesn't like it at all. Hmm. Shouldn't have given up the shield. Good to see you too, Buck. You think it didn't break my heart to see them march him out there and call him the new Captain America? What big three? Androids, aliens, and wizards. <laughs> what are you fighting now, Gandalf? G- no! Gandalf. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> I'm coming with you. No, you're not. <laughs> he needs to go with him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your ride, Buck. No, you can't call me that. Why not? That's what Steve called you. Steve knew me longer, and Steve had a plan. <laughs> I have a plan. It's too low for a shoot. I don't need it anyway. I don't need it. Okay. What? Oh, crap! Oh, oh, oh. That was. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> don't hurt <laughs> Makes a little chirps like it's its own personality. What's that oh. right there? Oh, there he is. How <laughs> did you do that? <laughs> How are you? Good. What did I miss? Nothing. All right. Wait. I got a vibranium all. All right, let's go. Oh, wait. Shh. Oh, Thank you. Oh, God, look how fast he is. Oh. <laughs> That's crazy. She looks innocent, but. Oh, yeah, see? Oh, fuck it. Whoa. Crap! Oh, no. Whoa, boy. <laughs> no, not Red Wing! No way! No! Yeah. Ooh, see, now he's bad, too. He took oh, that person boy. away. Huh. Wow! <laughs> Threw it. Oh. oh. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Of course, near tire. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Wow, he's using a gun. Nice shot. My God. Whoa, Ooh. that was awesome. But now Cap is on his own. <laughs> his friend, get him. Oh, <gasps> Whoa, smart move. Nice sled. Hopefully no one's Whoa. behind them. <gasps> oh. Uh. Oh. I can actually see it. I can see the gears turning. 
Oh, shutting down. Yep, they're on fire. You gotta figure out where the serum's <laughs> coming from. Yeah, and there's no such thing as wizards. All right, then it's aliens or androids. <laughs> or super they're all saying it. Here he stop. Get in. He's a Give nice guy. Give him a chance. Yes, he's really trying. Awkward. Does he always just stare like that? <laughs> okay. Look, you know, things have gotten kind of. You guys, if you joined up with us, I mean, we no. should. Man, I got mad respect for both of y'all, but you're kind of getting your ass kicked till we showed up. It'd be a whole lot easier if I had Cap's wingman on my side. It's, it's always that last line. I feel really bad for him. I mean, oh, that's hard. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> Thanks for the ride. <laughs> my wife and I made this just for you. Really nice and cozy. Something's gonna happen to that guy. He's like a full-on worshiper of them and. We can't let the same assholes who were put back in power after the blip win. The GRC care more about the people who came back than the ones who never left. One war. One, one people. One war. One people. Just wish it was that simple, right? It's just mm. not. I don't want to live the rest of my life in Vida Loca. We just got our ass handed to us by super soldiers. And we got nothing. There is someone that you should be. Hey. Otakon used to be there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up here? So are you like yeah. black kid? <laughs> I got him, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're here to see Isaiah. Nobody named Isaiah live here. Tell him the guy from the bar in Goyang is here. All right, we're here. So you're saying he's there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Today's a lucky day. He said he wants to see for himself. We uh, met in 51. If I met you, I mean, I whooped your ass. <laughs> then, <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to see if you got the arm back or if he'd come to kill me. I'm not a killer anymore. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. <laughs> Whoa, yep. Oh, boy. Kind of thought, yeah. They put my ass in jail for 30 years. People running tests. That there was a black super soldier decades ago and nobody knew about it. Great, perfect timing for this. Oh, Jay, wow. We're just talking. Hey, hey, look, is this guy bothering you? No, he's me? not bothering me. Why you are they targeting Sam? Oh, Sam, right, right away. Oh, come on. Oh, that's just another. That's awful. Just wait here, okay? I'm sorry, Mr. Barnes, you're under arrest. <sighs> oh, gee. Wow. How they found him, too, so quickly. Mm. So nice to meet you. Thank you for getting him out. That was not me. Christina! It's great to see you. <laughs> I was hoping it was him. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You know him. Yeah. <laughs> He's too valuable an asset to have tied up. So just do whatever you gotta do with him and send him off to me. You too, Sam. No, it's okay. I'll be out here with my. That wasn't a request. <laughs> Hello. I get it why you want me to talk to Freaky Magoo over here. But I'm 100% <laughs> fine. Jeez. We're going to do an exercise. It's something I use with couples when they are trying to figure out what mm -hmm. kind of life they want to build together. Mm -hmm. oh. yeah. I mean, oh, turn around, turn around. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Really I'm going to. I know you are. Yeah. All right, get close. <laughs> knees. <laughs> Push it. Cross knees. Why don't you have to have your right legs open? Left. Are you having a staring contest? <laughs> it's a challenge you each other. Explain each other. Sweet Jesus. What? Steve believed in you. I think. So maybe he was wrong about you. And if he was wrong about you, then he was wrong about me. Aww. <laughs> but can you accept that I did what I thought was right? Mm -hmm. We both can go on separate long no. vacations and never see each other again. Oh, come on. Great. No, you guys see each other. Okay. Okay. What was rule number two again? Don't hurt anyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gentlemen. <laughs> Good to see you again. Well, the leader's name's Carly Morgenthau. We've been targeting civilians who've been helping Carly move from place to place. Things are really intense for you, aren't they, Walker? 
Take it easy. Look, Walker's right. It is imperative that we find them and stop them. Stay the hell out of my way. Ah, no, because you don't like division. Mm -hmm. okay. It's really nice until you do his own way. Everybody grab what you can. I know she cares about her people and yeah. she seems very passionate. Yeah, she yeah. seems like it's a good thing to do this. Uh -huh. Oh, boy. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, my God. Whoa! Ooh. He's gonna get shot up. Ooh. Ah, <sighs> kill himself for the cause. Mm -hmm. Guess so. Okay then. We're gonna go see Zemo. Huh. Interesting. So yeah. we have another character from the movies. Yeah. Zemo. Wow. Yeah. So I'm going to let this run just in case if there's another scene. We don't want to miss anything. Oh, jeez. Man. So what do you guys think so far? I don't know what to think of Captain America. Me, me neither. Mm -hmm. I hope he joins with them or they join with him. Mm -hmm. To be the three I of them together. I don't know. I that think it's going to be a long time. I'm hoping they do get along. Right. Here, and eventually. being dark, I kind of feel like something really bad's going to happen. And John, he's going to get into something over his head. But we know now that he has a lot of history. He is a very good soldier. And he is That's a really it. good person. He's modest and he does care about people. I mean... The government wouldn't just hire anyone to replace. I know he doesn't want to replace Steve Rogers. He's replacing mm -hmm. Captain America, I guess. And he means well. So I do like him more. I was very guarded, like all of us. I agree. Mm -hmm. yes, I yes. In the beginning. Yes. So I do like him. And I really do it's think he too. means well. But I think at the end, when he just got mad, it wasn't just getting mad. He really tried to befriend them and talk to them and try to yes, communicate in some way. But they just wouldn't take it. They just didn't want it because they were such good friends with Steve Rogers that you can't mm -hmm. replace him. Yes. And that's all they see. So yes. I understand like why that's hard. But I'm hoping that Eventually. John has good reason. And he seems good so far. So I'm really hoping that he is genuine. So. And um, him getting mad, I can understand why, because he's cutting ties now. He's like, okay, well, I've tried my best to really have you guys try to help me. I can't force you, so now I'm going to be, like, the opposite and yeah. say, yeah. stay out of the way. Yeah. So that sucks. It really does. But I felt like that was going to happen. And now something bigger is going to escalate where they have to work together. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I think um, with Captain America, he – he was more respectful than I thought. He really is taking it seriously. His friend is at Haskins. Mm -hmm. You know, they're going to really work well together and really try to conquer these um, flag smashers. But I think you have to look at Sam's point of view where the government didn't even tell him that they were, go they were grooming the soldier to mm -hmm. be the new well, Captain true, America. Yeah. They didn't even tell him. Yeah. And, I would have a sour spot in my heart too for them because they didn't even consult him or even tell him like, Hey, this is what we were thinking. And um, we have to have someone for America, you know, some kind of hope and yeah, not even to, right. to include Sam and like even the knowledge of it. I think that's pretty sad. And I can see Bucky's point of view too. Like he's mad at everybody. You know, he's just, like, <laughs> I really he's like, Bucky he's really adorable. Yeah. Like, yeah. I love his like little wrinkle here. Like oh, yeah, it always face. looks like he's permanently <laughs> mad. <laughs> I can't <laughs> hope it. I gotta have therapy just to massage his part oh, out yeah. because he has that extreme stare. I love oh, that. My God, yeah. <laughs> Comedy is great in this. Like it's light, that's but right. it's fun. And it the is. banter between both of them and, and just like saying the same yeah. thing over and over again. So they're learning a lot about each other, almost like a couple. And so I really yeah, enjoyed that. Gosh, and that yeah. knee to knee thing is, I mean, that's a real thing. I mean, I, I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> so and I thought it was good that, you know, Bucky did say what was on his mind. He truly did like right away, but mm -hmm. he's been with the therapist for a while. And Sam said what, you know, he needed to say too. And I mean, it, it worked, but 
at least the doctor yes, knows that's... like it's a big deal why they're mad at each other and why they're that's right definitely they're butting heads yeah and i love the serious <laughs> undertones and then how they try to bring the comedy in too just to kind of help the situation or make it more relaxed for that's us right, funny. Yes. but yeah like that was serious and i can see definitely. both point of views there too because i wouldn't want to give up the shield i mean steve your yes. good friend gave that to you he trusts you and Sam thought he made the right decision. He didn't think anything was going to happen with the government there. So I guess it was a little naive, but still, like, why would you think that, you know, and the government, like not even telling him anything, like you said, that's what really shocks me. But at the same time, now it's their property and he gave it up. So that's right. He willingly gave it to them. Them trying to have courtesy to ask permission will lead to denial. They don't want to have any refusal, so they're going to like not tell him anything. I was impressed how John could use the shield because yeah, here time. Steve had the super strength. He had the original serum in him. He could do those maneuvers. So I like how this guy. He is really strong, but he's not super strong. He doesn't have superpowers. He's a human. He's a normal human. But the fact that he could throw the shield like that, that got to me a little bit because it was fun to watch, but it was a little unrealistic. Yes, it's a superhero show. They do a lot of exaggerated things, but they're very believable in how they do it. But for him just being a normal human, I don't care how strong you are, to be able to throw that shield like that, he has great precision and just strength to grab it. Like you could just feel how sturdy that is and he can like destroy things with that throw. Oh yeah, and to throw it down under his buddy that was thrown off the truck. That was actually kind of awesome. And to land on it perfectly. That Mm -hmm. takes a lot of... uh... A lot of skill, oh, so maybe a lot of practice, you know? <laughs> so I like how he did that, where it shows that he really thinks outside the box, that mm-hmm. he just makes it up as he goes along, too, and he knows how to do that. He doesn't get stuck. So for him to go against all those terrorists, the flag that smashers, lot. that yeah, was very I'm impressive. Sure, because yes. once, I mean, once he showed up, he did help. I think all of them need each other, absolutely. When Sam and Bucky actually was off the truck, like, I was like, oh, crap, now the new cap's going to be in big trouble because yes he has skills but he's still going against these superhuman people and there's yeah, a bunch strength, of them yeah. so i thought he was actually going to die i'm like set yeah. that something majorly is going to happen to this guy that he's going to get severely injured um but something has to happen to him to make sam and bucky step up and do something i don't know if they're going to help him out but that will yeah. drastically change something to make um sam and bucky try to help him or work together yeah, I so and I too, think right? Sam's so. going to be the the go-between. I don't think Bucky's going to mm-hmm. loosen his ideas of Captain America. I think yeah. Sam's going to be the one who's going to be Definitely. the go-between. It's going to be funny how to see them like they have this little... <laughs> <laughs> this bickering bromance oh, they have. It is. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be hard for them. And I knew yeah. they were going to struggle because their personalities yeah. are so different. But, you know, they do have that one common ground with their friend, Steve. So I'm hoping yeah. right. that they can really start understanding each other, like the way they were talking. I hope so, yeah. Yeah, like I just know that eventually they will start growing together. Like them separating, I kind of thought it was going to get that bad. But, you know, that's right now because their perspectives are so different and Bucky's more tunnel vision when it comes to, like, that's my friend, you gave up his precious weapon. That was his, like, whole meaning, you know, of who he was. I know it's an object, but it was very special to Captain America. That was his um, emblem, that was his weapon. Mm -hmm. So for Sam to give that up, like, now Bucky is judging himself because of his PTSD and all the guilt that he has, Mm -hmm. that now he feels since Steve might have made a bad choice with Sam making bad choices. Maybe he made a bad choice with Bucky, too. So Mm -hmm. hearing that, I mean, they're great actors. And just seeing Bucky like that really made me sad. Like, I'm like, oh, my God. So that's why he's taking it so hard, because now he feels like his best friend made a mistake in trusting him. Yeah, and I, I but I think he thinks that someone made a bad choice on him because I think Captain America made the right choice in giving that to, to Sam. Mm-hmm. And Sam thought at the moment it was a good choice to do that. And I can see that too. Yeah. And yeah. I think he's just reading too much into it. I think he's just, he, but he's a deep guy. He's a really deep guy and he's mm-hmm. going through the therapy and he, it is good that. He went through a lot, you know. Yeah. 
I, and but I, on the other hand, I, I'm glad that um, Captain America, to change the subject, that he stopped the part, the mandatory pardoning of um, doing the therapy. I'm yeah, glad he, he doesn't have to do that. Like, you know, that was regimented. Good. Yeah, yeah time. Time. So, yeah. I, I think he should still see her. I think she's really good for him. Mm -hmm. I mean, she yeah, hell, yeah. knows him. I think it's good for him to go with a therapy. Absolutely. I think so too. Oh, yeah, but yes. not at a, like Wednesday at three o'clock. Yeah. You know. No. Yeah. Especially now that he's on mission too. It's going to be really yeah. hard to check That's in. That's right. For yeah. sure. The government <laughs> wants, him to, help him, ha wants yeah. him to help them. Mm -hmm. And that was, that was another really good thing that Captain America did too. But it's almost, he's too forceful and happy. We can do this together. He's got to, He's got to understand where they're coming from to have them accept him. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. Definitely. I agree. And it was crazy with all the cops surrounding him. Like he missed his date to see yeah. the therapist yeah. and like, you can't do that. So how thorough they were to actually yeah. arrest him. Yeah. I mean, you have to be, cause he was a soldier. He's superhuman and he is uh, dangerous. He can't I'm be. I'm glad so. he was calm when they did it though. I'm glad yeah. He he's always been calm. I feel like there's going to yeah. be a breaking point. Like we I, saw him I get a little emotional here, that. but I'm waiting. Yeah. I think it's going to escalate and get worse down the road before yeah. it gets better. So, um, I feel really bad for him and it made me mad because the whole police profiling thing, like that's how I oh, took it right away. Yeah. Then I'm thinking, well, maybe because they knew they had to get Bucky so they knew it was Bucky and so they were like okay this guy's yelling at him so maybe that's why but I totally took I don't that think so. I took it the them, other way. why would they just go after him because here yeah. Bucky missed his appointment so wouldn't you be like I hey so. just like kind of focus on him because they were like talking loud but they weren't being aggressive towards each other yeah so they were just that yeah they were that's right, yeah. that guy spaced out he's like oh I didn't recognize you without all the gear on but how immediately that changed into, yeah because yeah, he's yeah, famous you joke yes, because he's famous right. I'm like that's so terrible like that really made me yes. angry <laughs> I have yeah. to laugh like I just get so angry I'm like yeah, oh, yeah, I just laugh. Same here. but yeah yeah, um, so it was actually good that they showed that, too, because things like that do happen a lot. And with our brother, it happened a few times, actually. He got pulled over a few times because he had long hair, so they immediately thought he was a drug addict a lot. Mm -hmm. And he yeah. was um, pulled over quite a few times in the past, and it was, like, really frustrating. For no, like, he didn't speed or anything, exactly. and they would always lie and say that he was speeding. And we know him, and he's not like that. No, he's and totally they never not. had evidence yeah. of that because no. they never actually took radar or anything. So they only pulled him over because they could see his really That's long right. blonde hair and immediately thought the worst of him, you know? Mm -hmm. So anyway, so that kind of triggered me a little bit seeing that. Um, My guy was profiled oh, when he was younger. He's Arabic descent. Mm -hmm. Same yes, thing. It's, it's terrible. Yeah. Right. Awful. Absolutely awful. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, uh, I don't know. That's a whole nother tangent I know. conversation. Right. I know. It makes you so like, what's like, wrong with on. people? But yeah, so in this episode, I really like Bucky and Sam working together or trying to. And there's a lot of banter going on, which makes it fun with them. But I feel like things are going to get really dark for them before it gets better. And now they brought in that guy um, at the end that we saw who was in Civil War. And he started that whole thing with Tony Stark, Bucky, and Steve Rogers. You know, and got them all fighting against each other. Right, and he yeah. almost killed himself, but then Black Panther actually stopped them from committing suicide at the end. So I love how they keep bringing movie characters back in. Like, yes, this is right, the so. MCU, but it's a show now. So I almost like, I don't forget, yes. but it's just fun. Like, I just feel like it's something more special because it's a show. Yeah, so you get more details. It, it, so. <laughs> it is. It's amazing. Yeah. It's absolutely. I just love it. It's, it's so, so good. It is so. What? It's so fun that way. And I just got sad for a second because I'm like Red Wing. We have to pay tribute to Red Wing. Yeah. They destroyed. Yeah. She Carly destroyed he just went, Red Wing. Well, yeah. No. Oh, how oh easy is it to rebuild another one? But I don't know if it's like an R2 D2 because <laughs> I know, I know, right? you know oh Sam named him, so he's kind of like oh. a buddy now. Yeah. And he was kind of chirping and stuff, like he was like an R2 That's D2 right. kind of thing. But I don't know if he is really like, he has like his own personality, <laughs> yeah. really. But yeah, so hopefully they can get another Red Wing back to help mm -hmm. out because that okay. really comes in handy. And to talk about Carly real quick, mm -hmm. I don't know much about that character at all, but we did have a few comments that. The comic book villain was named Carl, and now he was updated and made into a female for the show. Okay. Okay. So. All right. So a villain then. So I so, guess she's so a villain. Um, that's what people are saying. But she's thinking this. What she's doing is for the good, but it's not. 
No. Yeah, right. or there might be more to the story. I mean, it sounds bad so far, and she seems to really care for her people. Like she gets she, really upset and attached, and but it doesn't always mean that they have a good cause, though. Right. And I mean, he right, killed himself. Right. Dangerous. Yeah, he that's killed right. himself he, for he, the he, cause. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Wow. That's, no questioning. You know, right. like they yeah. go no. in and they don't want to be questioned or anything. Like there's no that's risk right. they there. They just kill yeah. themselves. So yeah. just a run in like that, and she knows that and she respects it. So that's really scary. Yeah, that's yeah, very yeah. dangerous to that's have so much love point. and caring so much about this that you'll do anything to protect it. Mm-hmm. I think that's even that's I mean, scary. fear can go a long way, but I think actually having the love and respect there can make it a lot worse. Oh, Absolutely. So. You know, because you'll go <laughs> to extra lengths, I think, because now yeah. you really care. I don't know. It's just different. I think it's stronger. It's really so worse. that's yeah. very scary. And I think she's a good actress for it, too, because. She was so innocent. Like, I was naive when I first saw her. I know. She was, like, right. and then she was smiling, and then yes. she was smiling too much. And I'm like, oh, oh no, Bucky's no, in trouble. No. Yeah, because it was right. too easy. And I'm like, why would they? Too easy. I mean, maybe she was a hostage, but I was like, I know she wasn't. But I'm just saying, like, in that yeah. moment. But I was like, well, I don't know. It was just too easy. And, and then she was going to show herself the, like that, yeah. too. Yeah. So right before she smiled, I'm like, she has to be a weapon or something. There's something going yeah, on with her. She's protecting it. Interesting, yeah. Oh so gosh, she, yes. I think, is an interesting villain, and we'll see what happens. I think it's cool that she's so super strong and she could take on yeah. oh, yes. all these people. So there like, were six super soldiers, now there's five, because one, you know. There might be more, too, that we don't know of. Who yeah. knows? Like, maybe she has other connections elsewhere. And, yeah, right. And also being thrown where they... Um, take refuge at this place and they have worshipers like these people who are like oh my god you're amazing my wife did this my wife did this and just so happy like just giving you everything that you want like blindly like you are amazing like you have a great cause like it's kind of scary Mm -hmm. yeah but it's amazing to see that because it happens a lot and wow but yeah so can't wait to watch more of the series (laughs) and leave your comments below because i'm really curious what you guys think about this and do you think steve rogers is alive i said that in the intro do you think he did pass? I took it as he passed, that they weren't trying to keep it a secret because I don't I think Chris did. Evans wants to come back. Mm-hmm. And I know he loves Marvel, but I know he wanted to do other things. So to leave that open would maybe open him to come back. And I don't know, maybe for a special appearance or something. So he might, but I really think he passed away. I don't that's know. My, I, that's what I think, too. I think so, too. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll find out if we'll he's, find if he's out. alive. <laughs> and I love Groot in the background, Mom. I meant to say that before. I love you, see that? that was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> so great. cute. So, guys, as you know, if you're watching on YouTube, we do have a store. There'll be more designs there soon. Anything you buy there really <gasps> helps our that? channel out. And you can check out our Patreon to see videos, our full reactions, up to a week early. And any help there also helps us out greatly to create more content. And, yeah. So, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you very soon as always. Bye, guys.